Appearances can be deceiving. Even the most beautiful things can be deadly. Just look at the Venus flytrap, tempting innocent prey into its alluring jaws, like a sexy bear trap. So when we pit the cutest critters against the ugliest underlings, you know it's not going to be pretty. This time on Grunt Battle, it's the final battle of the first round. From the Kirby series, the Waddle Dee. The green greens of Dreamland are home to a race of alien invaders. These intergalactic shooting star riding beasts conquer planets and ravish entire galaxies, scouring the universe for cake and ice cream. They may seem carefree, yet are every bit as adaptable as their floaty foe. King Dedede will want to keep these bestial beanbags on his side. Ha! I don't need them! I'm a self-made king! As in, I made myself king! <laughs> I don't need anyone for anything! Hey, someone come fluff my pillow. Hello? Anyone? <laughs> you win this round, pillow. And from the Resident Evil series, The Zombie Dog. The product of a devastating viral plague, which laid waste to the population and mutated the survivors beyond recognition. Zombie dogs combine wild animal instincts with a hunger for human flesh. They serve no master, but Albert Wesker has been manipulating them behind the scenes. Oh, please. They're just mangy mutts. I can make a Goliath cry like a baby. I can make a shark eat its own tail. A bunch of zombie dogs is nothing. Now, zombie cats, on the other hand, that's another story. No, they're back. The Waddledees and zombie dogs couldn't be more different on the outside. So one of our experts turned these foes inside out in her investigation. Zombification brings the dead back to life, which is the exact opposite of what I do. <laughs> the T-virus infects and revives the cells, but destroys almost all brain function, leaving the host only able to walk, eat, and leave YouTube comments. This infection of the DNA also leads to mutations, like the Colmios with its plaga-infected tentacles, and the Agile with a head that can split wide open. There's also the C-Virus variant, which preserves some intelligence in its mutants, so you'll never outrun the C-Virus dog! <laughs> Who's a good boy? None of them are good boys! Look, before they died, well, for the first time at least, these things were trained by professional handlers to be killer attack dogs. They don't need weapons. They are the weapons. Like the Raccoon City police dog and, and the even stronger military dog. <laughs> Did you see that? I don't even want them knowing I exist. Can you pixelate my face, please? Thank you. The Waddledees are surprisingly versatile given they look like fat little but on closer vivisection, they are full of snacks, candy, burgers, hot dogs, tomatoes. These things are like piñatas. They're delicious. Apart from the yarn one, it's just yarn. Sentient yarn. Like an evil woolly jumper. The Waddledees come with a lot of weapons. Bows, spears, parasols. But their best chance, maybe their only chance, against the zombie dogs are the Bomb Waddle Dee, who can throw explosives while hiding inside portraits, and the Walker Waddle Dee, who has their own missile launching mech suit. Wait, there's a zombie outbreak and an alien invasion? Could you pitch shift my voice too, please? That's great. You did that from the start of the interview, right? Right? The arena is ready for the beautiful game, but instead they're getting a grunt battle! Three, two, one, go!
Zombie dogs win! The dogs acted completely independently, but I'll reluctantly accept full credit. <laughs> now, no one will flop my pillows. Oh, I need comfort. <laughs> oh, no! Even having already died once, the zombie dogs are just physically superior to the Vodaldees, as you can tell from the way the dogs ate their faces off! I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god. Just edit me out of the episode, please, I beg you. Resident Evil becomes the fourth and final franchise to enter the semifinals. Joining our other victors, Mario, Sonic, and Zelda. Tune in when we revisit the Mushroom Kingdom as the tough turtle troopers take on the gruesome goblins of Hyrule next time on Grunt Battle.